Peter, a full week of training this week ahead of the Aldershot Town game on Saturday. How pleased have you been with the team um, based on how they've trained off the back of a couple of recent defeats? Um, well, I think, to be honest with you, I think they always impress me with their honesty. Um, we know uh, we've lost our last three league games and we've lost a very important FA Cup game. So we know our recent form's not good enough and we're letting a few people down. Uh, we're letting a lot of people down, but you know, the determination of the group to put it right is there. There's no doubt about it. They are very serious about their jobs. They all know what we've got to do um, and we've trained very well this week. Uh, of course, I want to be saying to you on five o'clock uh, on Saturday, it's all worked out brilliantly and we've had a good result. Three new additions to the squad. Toby Stevenson's obviously been here for almost two weeks now, um, but you've also had Ben House and Sam Deering come in this week. Just give us your thoughts on those players and how they've been since coming in. Well, I, I think, again, you know, supporters are always keen for us to get new players in, but I'm always somebody that's only going to get new players in for the right reasons, you know, and now there's players there that Terry and myself and the staff have been looking at and, um, you know, we've been trying to get on board because we, we know we've been a little bit down on numbers, you know, we've had a, some injuries to, to some important players. So it means that we've been going into battle at times without the strongest of teams that, that we would like. Now, all of a sudden, Ben House becomes available. He probably needs more matches. He's not been 100% match fit all the time. Went out to Swindon last year, became available now, and we've, we've decided to take him. And we're very, very pleased with Ben. I'm looking at him in training. He really does look the part. He may not be 90 minute fit, but we'll, we'll see whether we start him or whether we involve him off the bench. Um, Toby Stevenson, I think, is another one that needs more matches. He's only been playing under 23 football, uh, and you know he won't get his real top match fitness through that. Uh, but with us, he will. Uh, I think that his fitness, even though he got cramp um, last Saturday, uh, his fitness to me looks better. His match fitness looks better. So I'm expecting him to to kick on. Now we've signed Sam Deering, who I'm absolutely delighted with. Um, he's a He's another Jack Munn, so our supporters enjoy watching Jack play, so they'll enjoy watching Sam play. Uh, and you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a player that very, very important um, uh, way that he gets, he knits the team together. You know, he's a very, very good footballer. He can play a number of positions. Um, so I'm delighted to have him and he's, he's going to help us. And uh, again, you know, we've missed certain players. That's why we've, we've tried to get the three in and that's what we've done. And you mentioned those missing players, obviously, maybe some people are saying that we're missing Angelo Galanta heavily. Mm. Mm. Um, are you able to give us any fitness updates on the players that are missing at the moment? Well, I would class Angelo Galanta as our most important player. Uh, and so when I got the news how long he was going to be out, it absolutely killed us and killed me. And uh, so it means that we're going again into a, into a match with, a, with uh, our probably top scorer and, and the player that makes the team play together more than anybody, you know, he's a fantastic player and what people don't realise is what Angelo does off the ball as well and uh, so so I, I'm not one to, to sit here to say well he's not fit, he's not fit, he's not fit because I want to give the other players in the squad a positive um, way to say to them well look here's an opportunity for you but you know I'm not being crazy here and I'm sure our supporters realise how much we are missing Angelo, you know, he's a, he's a very important player, we can't wait to get him back fit, it looks as though he's going to be out for another month at least, uh, and that's a massive blow for us, but what do I do, I don't just sit here and moan about that, there's no point, I've got to get on with it and we've got to try and get some points uh, with the players that we're starting with, and to be honest with you, when we played against Stockport, we should have got more than more than nothing, that is a sir, so, uh, so, Yes, we're missing Angelo Balanta. I'm sure all supporters, if not, um, if there's a few supporters out there that are always unhappy, then they're going to be unhappy and not think about the Angelo Balanta not playing. But he is a massive miss to us, you know. And and, we, and what people don't realise is that we've also got other players that are not playing. 100% at the minute because of certain reasons and it's no it's not a reason that we can advertise they're just not 100% right and uh, now all I can say to you is that we've got a very honest squad and these boys will do everything they can to get themselves 100% match fit so they can be 100% right. Back at home on Saturday of course to Aldershot Town they'll obviously come to us um, looking to get a result yep. obviously they're down there struggling 
Um, do you think it's a good opportunity for the team to put in one of those good performances that we've seen slightly earlier in the season and maybe some of those players to prove a point that they, they are getting there? Well, that's what we hope for, you know, the players, you know, I, I can tell, I've got a magnificent captain in Kenny Clark, and I know that he is embarrassed with the situation at the minute that we haven't picked up enough points recently. Uh, so as long as everybody's got the same determination and love for the club as Kenny, then we're going to bounce back. You know, hopefully we bounce back on Saturday against Aldershot. It's going to be a very difficult game. They won their last game. There's going to be people like uh, Shimi and Malins coming back here to prove a point. So we know it's going to be a difficult game, but it's up to us. It's up to us to be better than the opposition. Uh, I've got no doubt, doubt about it. We've got the de determination, we've got the spirit, and I think we've got the organisation to get a result. But you, know, you won't know until the day.